October 2009 A Tangled Tale by Lewis Carroll Chapter 14 Answers to Not 4 Problem There are five sects, of which numbers 1, 2 weigh 12 pounds, numbers 2, 3, 13 and a half pounds, numbers 3, 4, 11 and a half pounds, numbers 4, 5, 8 pounds, numbers 1, 3, 5, 16 pounds, required the weight of each sack. Answer. 5 and a half, 6 and a half, 7, 4 and a half, 3 and a half. The sum of all the weighings, 61 pounds, includes sack number 3 thrice and each other twice. Deducting twice the sum of the first and fourth weighings, we get 21 pounds for thrice number 3, that is, 7 pounds for number 3. Hence, the second and third weighings give 6.5 pounds, 4.5 pounds for numbers 2, 4, and hence again, the first and fourth weighings give five and a half pounds, three and a half pounds for numbers one, five. Ninety-seven answers have been received. Of these, fifteen are beyond the reach of discussion, as they give no working. I can but enumerate their names, and I take this opportunity of saying that this is the last time I shall put on record the names of competitors who give no sort of clue to the process by which their answers were obtained. In guessing a conundrum or in catching a flea, we do not expect a breathless victor to give us afterwards, in cold blood, a history of the mental or muscular efforts by which he achieved success. But a mathematical calculation is another thing. The names of these muting glorious band are Common Sense, D.E.R., Douglas, E.L., Ellen, I.M.T., J.M.C., Joseph, Not One, Lucy, Meek, M.F.C., Paramus, Shah, Veritas. Of the 82 answers with which the working or some approach to it is supplied, one is wrong. 17 have given solutions which are, from one cause or another, practically valueless. The remaining 64 I shall try to arrange in a class list, according to the varying degrees of shortness and neatness to which they seem to have attained. The solitary wrong answer is from Nell. To be thus alone in the crowd is a distinction, a painful one, no doubt, but still a distinction. I am sorry for you, my dear young lady, and I seem to hear your tearful exclamation when you read these lines. Ah, this is the knell of all my hopes. Why, oh why, did you assume that the fourth and fifth bags weighed four pounds each? And why did you not test your answers? However, please try again, and please don't change your nom de plume. Let us have Nell in the first class next time. The seventeen whose solutions are practically valueless are Ardmore, a ready reckoner, Arthur, Bog Lark, Bog Oak, Bridget, first attempt, JLC, MET, Rose, Rovina, Seabreeze, Sylvia, Thistledown, three fifths asleep, Vendredi and Winifred. Boglark tries it by a sort of rule of false, assuming experimentally that numbers 1, 2 weigh 6 pounds each, and having thus produced 17 and a half instead of 16 as the weight of 1, 3 and 5, she removes the superfluous pound and a half, but does not explain how she knows from which to take it. Three-fifths asleep says that, when in that peculiar state, it seems perfectly clear to her that, three out of the five sacks being weighed twice over, two-fifths of forty-five equals twenty-seven, must be the total weight of the five sacks. As to which I can only say with the captain, it beats me entirely. Winifred, on the plea that one must have a starting point, assumes, what I fear is a mere guess, 
that number one weighed five and a half pounds. The rest I'll do it wholly or partly by guesswork. The problem is, of course, as any algebraist sees at once, a case of simultaneous simple equations. It is, however, easily soluble by arithmetic only, and when this is the case, I hold that it is bad workmanship to use the more complex method. I have not, this time, given more credit to arithmetical solutions, but in future problems I shall, other things being equal, give the highest marks to those who use the simplest machinery. I have put into class 1 those whose answers seemed specially short and neat, and into class 3 those that seemed specially long or clumsy. Of this last set, ACM, Fursbush, James, Partridge, RW, and Waiting for the Train have sent long wandering solutions, the substitutions having no definite method, but seeming to have been made to see what would come of it. Chilpom and Dublin boy omit some of the working. Arvon Marlborough boy only finds the weight of one sack. Class list. First. B. E. D. C. H. Constance Johnson. Greystead. Guy. Hoopo. J. F. A. M. A. H. Number five. Pedro. R. E. X. Seven Old Men, Vis Inertiae, Willie B., Yahoo. Second, American Subscriber, An Appreciative Schoolman, Ayer, Bradshaw of the Future, Cheem, CMG, Dynamite, Duckwing, ECM, E.N. Lowry, Era, Euroclydon, FHW, Fifi, G. E. B. Harlequin, Hawthorne, Hugh Green, J. A. B. Jack Tar, J. B. B. Kukovjny, Landlubber, L. D. Magpie, Mary, Mruxi, Minnie, Money Spinner, Nyram, Old Cat, Polychinelle, Simple Susan, S. S. G. Thisp. Verena, Wamba, Wolf, Wycamicus, YMAH. Third, ACM, Arvon Marlborough Boy, Chilpome, Dublin Boy, Fursbush, James, Partridge, RW, Waiting for the Train. End of chapter 14